Hey guys, welcome back. This is my fifth tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a couple of things. First, I want to start you off with the 3D warehouse that King SketchUp has. To open it, you're going to go to File, and then you're going to go to 3D Warehouse, and click on Get Models. Okay, so it, with the 3D Warehouse, you can find pretty much anything out there. Pretty much anything, really. Uh, you can find all types of objects, buildings, rooms, cars, people. All sort of really, really cool stuff. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and search for, let's try a 3D person. 3D, 3D people. I'll go ahead and type that. Okay, so let me go ahead and download one. If Whatever you like here, you can download anything. So just click download model and then hit yes. And the thing about uh, this little three D warehouse is a lot of people, a lot of people who put things on the three D warehouse seem to get it out of scale. So that's one big main problem with the three D warehouse with a lot of things. Uh, but you can take care of that. First, what we want to do is we want to use the tape measuring tool to measure this human being and see if it's to a right human scale. And as you can see, it's not. He is fifteen foot three, way too large for a being. Um, so we got to go ahead and make him smaller so what we're gonna do to scale him is we're gonna hit, click on the object and whenever you want to scale something you hit the s key on your keyboard and then you can get all kinds of green boxes around the object and these are for scaling there's three ways to scale something uh you can do it diagonally horizontally and vertically and basically what uh the vertical way is is to uh change the length of the object you can see how it changes makes it smaller and bigger but since it's a human being you don't want to change nor the length nor the width of it because it will be out of proportion so to proportionally scale something you want to go do it diagonally and you can go ahead and hit either of the eight corners uh to go ahead and scale some to proportion so i'm going to go ahead and click the right side one here and then the number at the bottom right of your screen is you can scale and see how it's now at 0.5 and if he, since he was 15 foot tall, he would be about seven a little over seven and a half feet tall since i just scaled him to 0.5 so i'm gonna go ahead and hit tape measure to measure him he should be about seven foot eight yeah so that's a little big and if whatever you're scaling if you need an exact measurement for whatever reason what you can do is divide Take the number, you gotta use a calculator, so use a number, whatever you want. Say I wanna make this guy five foot eight. I'm gonna go ahead and divide five foot eight by seven foot eight, which is his current height. And whatever number that gives you, I'm gonna go ahead and type that into into uh, the box. So say that number is, I don't know, I'm guessing, I don't know, 0. 0.7. Yeah. You can type the exact number down at the bottom and it will scale it to the exact height of your desire if you did the calculations right so now let's measure him and i was a little off he's five foot four but that's that's a much better human height and that's pretty much how to scale something another thing i want to go over is section planes so i'm going to go ahead and download a house and show you how to make sections and plans all right so Let's go ahead and download a house if this ever loads up here. All right, let me try this again. Okay. All right, let me type house. And let's go ahead and download any house. And to what you do to make a section is you're gonna go and head to uh, to tools, and uh, I'll show you once this is done here. You're gonna go to tools, and then you're gonna go to uh, section plane. All right, so it's taking a really long right now. Probably gonna have something uploading on Internet Explorer. All right, so let's go ahead and put this down. Okay, this is a really, really big house here. That's all right. I 
Okay, so here we have our house. As I was telling you, you're going to go to tools, then you're going to go to section plane. And to, to do a section, you got to just follow the arrows. And you can see those green arrows on the section plane. It's going to make a section towards the direction of the arrows. We can do it that way. And you can also make a section from the side. And to do a floor plan, you basically got to do it from the top. But th since this house has a, ha doesn't have a flat roof, what's put is putting it as an at an angle, and it's not going to give you a, an ex a floor plan. So you just got to find a place where it's flat, so you can do it flat. I think right there would work. There. Okay, so you click it. And now you're going to use the select tool to select the section plane and it should turn blue. Now, we use, now we're going to use the move tool. Click on it. And then we're going to move it down. And now you have a floor plan, basically. Um, there you go. And you can do the same thing for a section from the side. I don't know how the house, house is. Well, let's get that thing like this. Now, uh, to remove this uh, section, we go ahead and hit display section planes and it should go away without actually taking the section off. Now, to get rid of the section, you can erase the section plan with the erase button or you can go ahead and hit undo. Don't worry, this is nothing permanent. And if you want to get it to the proper view of a plan, you're going to go ahead and see in the top left corner, it should tell you front or top it should be top once it gets like blurred up there you know it's at the right uh, angle let's um, play with this and um, okay so if you're not really getting it you can go to camera and you can go to standard view and just go ahead and hit top and see how you get the word in the top and that's exactly at the angle then I usually go ahead and scale this to the bottom of the screen to see if it's completely straight and now what you can do to export it is you can export it to a 2d graphic I usually export it to a jpeg image and and then crop it out in like microsoft paint and you get a really nice uh, floor plan section that you can use to present all right guys so thank you for watching this tutorial